welcome to the Learning is Changed list, the web series where I get to tackle all the things that I would like to learn how to change in education, the community of reflective practice vloggers, in order to create an engine for authentic learning. I hope you like the new intro that I'm testing out. I am currently in Portland, Oregon for the IPDX conference, and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about my flight here. There wasn't anything too crazy going on on the flight, except for the fact that I had all of my technological devices, a uh, laptop, an iPad, and an iPhone, all readily available to me on the flight. And uh, instead, I chose to jot things down on the back of the napkin that they gave me um, for my soda. And... <laughs> I wanted to think about why in the world I chose the napkin versus jotting something down on the iPad versus taking my notes on the laptop versus taking my notes on the phone or, you know, recording something. Um, I chose the back of a napkin. I wanted to think about why the back of a napkin was the natural place for me to place my thoughts this evening rather than in any of those technological devices. I also wanted to consider how we can create more environments where the back of a napkin ends up being the right spot, the natural place for our thoughts, where it is okay to scrawl something down rather than having to get this official device out and starting to work with it. Because I think a lot of times when we have the technology at our disposal, we don't think about the back of the napkin. We don't consider that that is going to be the best spot. Um, but in the arrows that I drew, in the different ways that I uh, bracketed things together and made no sense whatsoever in certain times, and the way that I was able to unfold and you know continue the idea, to me that was the way in which it should have happened, and it wouldn't have happened that way had I gotten out my iPad and started taking notes on it. And that's weird. It's really strange to me to have these things at our disposal and to still prefer the napkin. I think more than anything, I believe in the back of the napkin. I believe in back of the napkin learning that can happen when you are contemplating something so deeply that you do not want to get distracted by anything. When I'm looking at an iPad, I know how many other apps are on that iPad. When I am looking at a technological device, I know exactly where everything else is, where the documents that I haven't touched for a year are, where the audio files and the video files are. I know where all of it is, and it is an intense distraction for me. But when I put all of that away, and I was focused on the square piece of incredibly delicate paper in front of me. I was able to put down ideas that I didn't have previously. And I think that it is that single use that that one square piece of napkin provided to me that allowed me to go further than I would have with a piece of technology. I wonder if we do that with learners and I wonder if we let them take that small square as often as we could rather than saying, here are the 12 different things that you can be doing right now, rather than contemplating the one that will get them further along. So if you'd like to think about something with me, think about this. How are you creating back of the napkin learning for your learners? How are you getting rid of all of the distractions that technology can provide and allowing for certain moments where it is just you and that paper, just you and that moment of inspiration, you and that moment where you are telling a story and you are putting the pieces together. If you have an answer to this question, please leave it down below in comments, subscribe on YouTube, or join the Google Plus community. Thanks so much for watching.